In this example, I'm going to go through another Lagrange example. So Lagrange multiplier method. Now this one's going to look like a Cobb-Douglas function. We're going to have the following production function. 72 x to the 3 quarters, y to the 1 quarter, where x is our labor, y is our capital, and we are going to have labor costs of $108 per unit. So 108x is our cost of, uh, of labor. And we're going to have capital costs of $576 per unit, where y is our capital. Uh, and now our constraint, if you will, is going to be the following. We need to produce nine thousand two hundred and sixteen units of uh, of the good so slightly different than the previous one in the previous example um, we had a budget constraint and we wanted to satisfy it and maximize our production in this case what we're going to look to do we actually want to um, take our total cost which is our budget and we want to minimize it. Okay, so we're going to minimize our total cost subject to uh, requiring a production of 9,216 units. Okay, so our production function is a Cobb Douglas. And in this case, it's going to show up as our constraint. Okay, so step one, as per always, set up your Lagrange function, which is going to be the following. Take what you're looking to optimize, which in this case is that total cost, and then um, add to it lambda times by my constraint, which is now 72 x to the 3 quarters, y to the 1 quarter, minus 92 16. Okay, so step one, set up that Lagrange. Here it is. Step two, take all of your derivatives. So Lx, Ly, and L lambda. Okay, so we have 108 plus lambda times 72 times 3 quarters x to the minus 1 quarter y comes along for the y, ride the y to the 1 quarter give me here uh, minus 0 for our first derivative here now 3 quarters of 72 let's see what that gives us So we get 108 plus um, 3 quarters of 72 gives us 54, so 54 lambda x to the minus 1 quarter, y to the 1 quarter. Ly is going to be the 576 plus lambda times by 72 times 1 quarter. Uh, x to the 3 quarters, y to the negative 3 quarters, minus 0, which will be 576, um, plus, it's going to be 18, when we multiply 72 by a quarter, x to the 3 quarters, y to the minus 3 quarters. Okay. And L lambda is going to be 72 x to the 3 quarters y to the 1 quarter minus 92 16 equals 0. Okay, <clears throat> now um, 
Moving on now, we're going to set all of our derivatives equal to zero. I already set the constraint one equal to zero. We're going to set the other two to zero also. And we're going to go solve for lambda. So as the equations get more complicated, solving for lambda kind of simplifies things down. So when in doubt, just solve for lambda. If you do this, and you do it systematically, all of the weird powers are going to disappear. Okay, so in doing this, let's see what we get. We get 108 equals negative 54 lambda to the x to the negative 1 quarter, y to the 1 quarter from um, the LX expression. Okay, and we get, um, let's see here, so that gives us 108 over 54, make that negative, uh, x to the positive 1 quarter, y to the negative 1 quarter when we move everything to the left side. Okay. And um, next one here is ly is going to be 576, negative 18 lambda, x to the 3 quarters, y to the negative 3 quarters. Move everything to the left side except for the lambda. So again, we're isolating lambda. Um, it's the same thing here. And we end up with 576 over 18, make that negative, x to the negative 3 quarters, y to the 3 quarters, and that's equal to lambda. So we now have two expressions for lambda, and we're now, so here's our two expressions for lambda, this one and this one. We are now going to set them equal to each other and solve for one of the unknowns, either x or y, whichever one feels easier. Okay, so now negative 108 over 54, x to the 1 quarter, y to the negative 1 quarter equals negative 576 over 18, x to the negative 3 quarters, y to the 3 quarters. And 576 divided by 18 becomes 32. 108 divided by 54 becomes 2. And I'm going to move all of the x's to the left side. All of the y's to the right side. And I get 2x equals to 32y. Divide both sides by 2. And x equals to 16y. Okay, so now I get an expression for x in terms of y, and guess where I plug that in? I put that into my constraint for the x right here. So 16y is equal to x, and I go plug that in. So we end up with 72. 16y to the 3 quarters, y to the 1 quarter, minus 92, 16 equals 0. Um, okay, and now we clean this up a little bit. Be so careful. This uh, 72 just stays as it is now. 16 is actually being put to the power of 3 quarters. So we do that. The y to the power of 3 quarters, it's being times by y to the 1 quarter. We're going to bump the 92, 16 to the other side. And let's see, 16 to the power of 0.75 gives us 8. And that's uh, times by y to the 3 quarters times y to the 1 quarter gives us y to the 1. That's equal to 92, 16, and then divide both sides by 72 and 8. And 92, 16 divided by 72 and then divided by 8 is 16. So y equals to 16 is one of our answers. And then x is 16 times y, which is also 16. So it is 256. 
So we minimize the total cost when x equals to 256 and y equals to 16.